Hey everybody, Jacob the Flashlight Man with Phoenix Store. Today, we're talking about waterproofing. Phoenix flashlights, every Phoenix flashlight has some degree of waterproofing, whether that would be a headlamp, a camping lantern, or just a regular flashlight. Everything has some amount of waterproofing. <clears throat> we have three different levels of waterproofing uh, that, are, that you need to remember. They are determined by what's called an IP rating. Uh, you have IP66, IP67, and IP68. Those two numbers uh, tell you what the light is protected against. The first number is protection against solids, six being the highest. So uh, all lights are IP6 something. So that first six, that means it is fully protected against dust and physical particles entering the flashlight. So everything is IP6, 6 at minimum. Um, from there we have IP6, 6, which is rated against heavy rain and splashing. We have IP6, 7, which is rated for full submersibility down to one meter for 30 minutes. And then you have IP6, 8, which is the best IP rating that we have uh, on our Phoenix lights. And that is submersible to two meters for up to 30 minutes. So first of all, here we've got a good selection of flashlights in our aquarium. All of them are currently running and uh, they are going to keep running. Uh, we've got, first of all, two lights that have the IP67 rating. That would be the CL30 and the BC30 version 2 bike light. So uh, this is, uh, BC30 is a good upgrade because the previous versions of the BC30 and other bike lights that we have are actually only IP66 rated. So the IP67 rating on this BC30 V2 is a, is a good upgrade. Same thing goes with the lantern here. Um, this is an IP67 rated CL30R, whereas the other camping lanterns <laughs> that you'll see here in a second, these are only IP, um, IP66 rated. So this one is fully submersible, and you even saw there it actually floats, which we actually were surprised about whenever we put that in there, but this, this means that's a great thing to take with you on a rafting trip or on a river, uh, because if this falls out of your pack or you get capsized, that's gonna float and you're not gonna lose it. Pretty cool. That's of course in addition to all its other great features, which I bet that we have a video if you wanna look at it. Next, these, the rest of these, we have IP68 ratings on all of these lights. Two headlamps have the IP6 rating, the HL60R and the HM65. HL60R is, of course, uh, I think still our top selling headlamp. It's a very popular model. Uh, the IP, or sorry, the uh, HM65R, of course, has the spot and the flood options, which is great, uh, both independently and together operable. Next, let's look. We've got. Here's a good one. This is the uh, SD11. Now this is a dive light, so actually it's it the uh, it's way above an IP68. It actually is submersible to 100 meters. So um, of course, if you're diving, you're going to be going further down than two meters. So that's what the, the two dive lights we have: the SD11 and we've got an SD20. Both of those have they do have the IP68 rating but they are submersible to actually 100 meters rather than just two. Uh, you can see here, this has this really nice red plus. It's a red and a white light. This, this light is really designed for underwater photography. This lighting is really great for that. You have that plus, plus your standard white outputs as well. Now we've got, here's another lantern, the CL09. This is a um, keychain lantern, has red and green plus the white options. Here's our very attractive Cerakote Elite Series, one of our Elite Series models, the PD35 TAC in the Don't Tread on Me finish. That one's been really popular. One of our new work lights, intrinsically safe work lights, the WF05E. TK25 sporting its red option. TK72 with the great LCD screen still running just fine. 
lots of different output levels with a maximum of 9,000 lumens on that one. New very popular TK30 laser light. LR35R. The latest and greatest in the long running TK35 model, the TK35 UE. A fan favorite pin light, the LD05 version 2 with warm white and UV lighting as well. Top seller, number one PD36R, everyone's favorite. TK22UE with the tungsten strike bezel on the front there. Excellent self-defense light. FD41 with focusable beam. Still focuses, still waterproof, even with a telescoping head. TK11 TAC with the unique APF selection system. Still works just fine. E20 version 2, one of our most popular small EDC lights. Very bright for just a couple of AA batteries. E28R, another really popular small size EDC. LD12, LD30, even a couple keychain size flashlights like, <clears throat> like the E01 and the E12 version 2. And of course, we've got the LD32 UVC, the UV disinfecting light, the UC35 version 2, and E30R. So, that is all of the IP67 and IP68 flashlights. Uh, like I said, fully submersible, fully waterproof, either one or two meters, depending on if it's 6.7 or 6.8. Now, last we've got the IP66 lights over here. Now, uh, like I said, these are not fully submersible. They would manage if you dropped them in the water for just a moment. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'll take this this bucket thing here, and we'll see. Heavy rain, heavy splashing. They're going to work just fine. That was the CL23. Here's the CL20R. CL26R, BC25R, and one of our new work lights, angle lighting work lights, this is the WT16, which has the great floodlight on the end there. Let's test that out. And last thing we've got for you, the new HM65R trail version with the unique uh, ratchet um, tightening headband system. Now, uh, the ratchet tightening system is not fully waterproof, so that's why this one is the IP66 rated rather than like the other HM65, which is the 68, but it can still handle the heavy splashing. Well, that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for joining us today. Saul and I are going to have the time cleaning this up, but I hope you had fun, and uh, we'll hope to see you next time. Thanks very much.